So there was a comment on one of our posts about the Creed 2400. Let me let me find it for you. So this is the one with the Creed 2400. There's the remote. There's the light. And let's find the. Um, let me find the here it is. So it says here so many wires just for a light. I'd rather um, buy a Holford 1600 lumens plus it comes with power bank and battery last ages. That made me smile. Here's why. So here's the Holford's lights. That's the 500 lumens. That's the 1000 uh, lumens and that's the 1600 lumens uh, light. So I know quite a lot about these because it was me who was involved with um, with Holford's um, in developing them and uh, sourcing them for them and uh, getting them produced. Basically, I worked with a company in Hong Kong. They were a, um, a design company. Um, I basically, from my experience from the old Crees that I'd sold, let me find one of those. Here it is, here's one of our old Crees. God, this is really, really old. Um, 600 lumens, I don't know if you guys, it still works, look. <laughs> um, but we'd, we'd sold these and other Cree lights in the early days and um, we learnt a lot. So it was with this Cree light that we launched as well, by the way, that got us onto Radio 2 um, discussing dazzling drivers. Um, so that was, yeah, part of the journey. Oh, it seems like such a long time ago now, all this, but anyway. And so I'm going to speak in a moment to Zog Ziegler, a motoring journalist who's been very annoyed by this, and James Marshall, who regularly cycles at night using six lights, front and back. But first, let's talk about the technology, which is where it gets fascinating, with Paul Bradley from Chile Technology, and you sell some of these lights. Yes, we do. I mean, our lights, uh, the maximum um, that we, we sell is 600 lumens. 4,000 lumens now. But back to Holford's, we, 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 we tendered for it and we, we won the tender. And um, that's what made me smile on that post because um, yeah, I basically was involved in that light at Holford's, which has been still sold now. I think it's been coming on to its fifth year now. Um, so, so yeah, that, that light isn't new. It's about five years old now, old, old, um, um, old sort of style now, I guess, uh, with features. It's got an LG batteries in, etc. But why we don't sell something like this? Well, we decided, well, first of all, this light isn't for mountain bikers. It's great for road, um, but it's not for um, mountain bikers because it's just too heavy. It moves with um, that kind of um, that mount. You can get um, GoPro mounts, I believe, now for those. Um, in fact, you can um, get GoPro mounts, but it's just too clunky for um, for mountain bikers. And also, you need more light, which is why we worked on developing this one, which is 3000 lumens, a whole lot more lumens, doesn't budge. It's got a CNC um, bracket and it just won't move and it's super bright. And um, we've got the Cree 962. Um, oh, the other thing about um, Cree lights with batteries internal, internally, so obviously I've got all of the wires, etc. But you are limited on battery runtime with lights like this. With this one, what we've got is a solution where you've got a cable, an extra cable, plugs into the, um, the light that can now power that light off additional power, so you're not caught short. Uh, but we decided to focus on the, the higher end, the more lumens, uh, on lights were specifically for, um, for mountain bikers, off-road, uh, but can also be used, um, I mean, this one can be used on the road, no problem at all, because you've got a, you've got a dip function, basically, you can go for the modes switch that off and actually there's a hidden mode here where you can just you can just go on half 50 percent um so you can go from 2000 lumens to under a thousand lumens so yeah made me smile because um 
I got paid for these these lights and I was involved in them. So I've never really said anything about them. Um, and I've always, um, to, on my Chili Tech um, page or told a few customers, I think, I've called them up and we've been talking lights. Um, but yeah, um, I was involved. Anyway, hope you're having a, um, a great um, end of the week and looking forward to the weekend. Catch you soon.